items, none. Open forum. Members of the public are invited to speak on any item that does not appear on this agenda and is, is within the subject jurisdiction of the Commission. Speakers are limited to two minutes. Please note that the Commission may not take action on the issues brought forth under open forum, but may refer issues to staff for action at a further, at a future, at a further meeting. Anybody in the public? You? Huh? Council liaison in front or past? It's, it's afterwards. It's up. It's afterwards. Okay. Anything on public forum? Mm -hmm. It's next. Okay. I saw it up here. Yeah. Larry. Huh? I think oh, I yes. 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 Hi. If you squeeze in the middle and pull, push down, it'll come down. <laughs> or do that. The, never mind. <laughs> in the middle, then push down. <laughs> It's always different, though. She said, well, Hello. Hello. That works. Hi, I'm Janice Rombeck from Supervisor Dave Cortez's office. I just wanted to give a little bit of an update on things happening in the county. Um, the September 15th board meeting is really full. We have the Housing Task Force recommendations. This was a group that uh, the, the board put together to look at immediate solutions for homeless. They've come up with a... Um, slate of recommendations and and just proposals so these are not nothing is is um has been approved or rejected it's just a chance for the board to look at some of them will possibly go forward and um you know some will be more open for discussion also on that agenda is that an uh, ordinance that would would um look at gender pay equity it would require that all employers uh having contracts with the county would pay uh Employees fairly, with no with a no bias to gender um, or ethnicity, and then another big issue is uh, immigration, um, which I'm sure you've read about or heard about the um, uh, bail and working or the bail and release working group, which was um, created a couple years ago to look at um, the the types of circumstances where someone is. Um, released what and what how bail is set um, in response to people who were um, released and then committed another crime and um, serious crime and uh, so they've come up with a report and we'll pass that on also to the board to look at this is part of the homeland security um, getting rid of civil detainer and looking more at notification, but there's it's a controversial and and um, you know very hot issue, and but that's another thing they'll be taking up. So, and if you want any more information about any of this, please email me, and I'll give you a link directly to reports or to any other information. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Uh, just on the last one, Janice, uh, the uh, whole bail thing. I know that there was a lot of kind of angst a couple of years ago around this and I'm just kind of curious is the county dealing with um, the incestuous relationship with bail bonds agents in the county that um, was highlighted with the recent media but that there was a trend to a lot more bail which then forced people of low income to get stuck into the bail cycle rather than on their own recognizance. Yeah, I just get concerned when you hear the kind of the flash news cycle that's going on with that, that it implies that everybody kind of there's big problems and everybody needs bail. And it just it hits low-income communities tough. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see, um, consent calendar, none.